Hi guys, Jag here, your Office 365 daily vlogger. So I hope uh, I've released my first episode of the Stories of Modern Work podcast last night and I've received some good feedback so far. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I encourage you to go on to my blog. It's uh, blog.modernwork.cloud and uh, you could you can listen uh, to the first episode where I spoke to Mark Eshemeyer from BA Insight about how search can empower um, the modern work. Anyway, this week I actually wanted to focus uh, on an entirely different subject. Uh, I've been talking about Microsoft Search uh, whole of the last week, but this week I wanted to talk about Microsoft Forms. Um, since the Ignite uh, last year, Microsoft Forms have uh, improved a bit. Uh, they've added some intelligency features into into the mix as well. Like you know, when you create new questions, it actually prompts you to uh, with some example questions that you can use, and also it. Um, it, uh, even for when you export the results, it's actually got some intelligence built into that as well, where it actually creates uh, trends uh, based on the responses that you've got from Microsoft uh, by filling in the forms. So uh, this week I wanted to talk about Microsoft Forms, as I said, you know, uh, probably, you know, I'll touch base on some of the use cases that are, uh, you know, most uh, uh, relevant to Microsoft Forms. Um, and, and also answer some of the uh, pressing questions about Microsoft Forms as well. Before we do that, I just, just wanted to ask you a quick question on uh, how do you actually use Microsoft Forms? Do you actually use Microsoft Forms in your, in your uh, business? Uh, if, if you do, please let me know in the comments below on what, what's the use cases that uh, you have actually used Microsoft Forms. So Microsoft reckons it's for you know, creating um, you know, simple forms quizzes, polls, and things like that. But there are other ways where you can actually use Microsoft Forms as well. So, and, and, and please let me know. But today, let's answer a, a, a most frequently asked question is, is, is Microsoft Forms a, a replacement for InfoPath Form? Um, no, it's, it's a big no. Uh, it might, uh, Microsoft Forms doesn't actually have all the all the functionality required for replacing your traditional InfoPath Forms if you ha have those in your business. Uh, instead, you could actually use something like Power Apps or you know the SharePoint lists to to uh, to uh, recreate, rebuild your uh, existing InfoPath Forms. But anyway, starting tomorrow onwards, I'll I'll uh, talk a bit more about Microsoft Forms, talk about the use cases, and also. Uh, you know, do you know, walk through, kind of, like, jump on the computer and just walk through some of the features and how, how we can actually build uh, a, 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 you know, a decent form using uh, using the Microsoft Forms tool. Thank you, and uh, please stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I post a daily uh, video here on LinkedIn and also post uh, post them on on YouTube on the Modern Work channel as well. Thanks, and I'll see you in my next video.